Good morning. Welcome back. We're on our final day of the Gifts of Gratitude Challenge. And this morning I pulled an oracle card. I love to pull oracle cards first thing and ask, you know, what do I need to know today? And it was funny because the one that I got today, it's very beautiful. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see it real quick. Okay. Yes, you kind of can. So it says moon dance, celebration. And then I'm just going to read to you a teeny bit from the book. It says, this card brings good news. You will soon have good reason to celebrate. Expect good things and positive development. Think about all the good in your life in this very moment. What do you have to be grateful for? Be grateful for it now. Do a little dance of gratitude. Stay focused on the solutions, not the problem. Open your heart and be as happy as you can with the way things are now. And being upbeat about the good things in your life is hugely important when it comes to creating the life that you want. And this is actually the perfect card and the perfect message for our session today. So I just wanted to share that with you. I think that card's for you too. So today's last workshop, our gratitude challenge day five is all about unlocking the power of appreciation, unearthing hidden lessons in life's bumps in the road, and learning to forgive ourselves and others. So life throws us curveballs, right? Sometimes it's easier to get stuck in negativity, but today we're going to flip that around. What if we focus on the good, even when times are hard? If we look for the silver linings that often are hiding in plain sight because we're so focused on the negative part of things. And what if we learn to let go of past hurts and free ourselves for more happiness and peace? When you shift your perspective, you can release negative energy and your life blossoms with joy. This is not in my plan, but I decided we're going to do it today anyway. <laughs> So we were just talking about life blossoming with joy. We're gonna try the breath of joy. It's one of my favorites. And I realized that this camera angle is terrible. It's because I didn't plan ahead for this and I just got excited and this inspiration. So the breath of joy is a three part, in three part inhale. You'll bring your hands forward and then out to the side and then all the way up above your head and then let everything go. If you're not already, then take a deep breath and try it with me. Ready? Inhale, 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 let it all go. Inhale, 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 let it all go. Inhale, 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 let it all go. Keep going at your own pace. I'm going to do two more. I love this breath because it can just be kind of invigorating and bring new energy into your body. And it's called the breath of joy. So while we're talking about joy, I randomly decided that that would be something fun to share with you. And then next we're gonna dive into today's meditation. Now that you're filled with good energy, we're gonna close our eyes and start to relax into this moment. Gently take a few deep breaths. Inhaling slowly through your nose and exhaling completely through your mouth. Feeling your body relax with each breath. On your inhales, inviting a sense of calm to fill your being. And on your exhales, releasing any tension that you might have been holding on to. As you sit in stillness, bring your awareness to a past experience 
that weighs on your heart. Allow yourself to acknowledge any emotions that may arise, perhaps sadness, anger, resentment, or embarrassment. Witness these emotions with compassion and understanding, knowing that you no longer need to hold them. You are strong and resilient. And you know that within every challenge lies an opportunity for growth and insight. Now, visualize yourself enveloped in a gentle golden light. The light glows with kindness, understanding, inner strength, and compassion. All of these attributes live inside of you. Let them glow brightly now with a golden light. A light that illuminates the darkness and reveals the hidden treasures within. Revel in the warmth of this radiant light surrounding you. Then send this light towards the past experience that you were thinking of and see your past self enveloped in its warmth. Recognize that you deserved better, but also acknowledge that you've come so far since then. Allow yourself to reflect on that experience now. Could there be a hidden message or lesson that this experience may be offering you? Perhaps it's about setting boundaries, building stronger relationships, trusting yourself, or discovering your inner strength. Maybe it's a reminder to appreciate the good in your life. Be curious and allow the wisdom to unfold gently. Hold yourself sweetly in the light, and whatever the message may be, trust that it's guiding you towards greater wisdom and wholeness. Then, turn your focus to forgiveness. Forgiveness is not about condoning someone's actions or about forgetting the hurt. It's a gift that you can give yourself a release from the burden of anger and resentment. It allows you to move on and create space for happiness and peace. Imagine a cord connecting you to that event that caused you pain everyone involved in it. This cord represents the emotional ties that keep you anchored in the past. With each exhale, visualize this cord weakening 
and loosening its hold on you. Feel the lightness as the cord begins to sever and vanish. You are free from the negativity associated with this experience. Allow it to be so. As you continue to breathe deeply, feel a sense of liberation wash over you. Embrace the power of letting go, knowing that it opens the door to new beginnings and fresh possibilities. Let's focus on the strength and resilience that you've gained from this experience. Perhaps you learned valuable life lessons or discovered an inner well of courage. Take a moment to appreciate the growth and wisdom that emerged from this challenge. Finally, shift your focus to the present moment. As you bask in the warmth of this golden light, take a moment to honor yourself for the courage and resilience that you have shown on your journey. You are stronger and more resilient than you realize. and your capacity for forgiveness knows no bounds. Take another moment to reflect. What are you grateful for right now? It could be anything, the warmth of the sun on your skin, the sound of calming music, the love of a friend, let that feeling of gratitude wash over you and fill your heart with joy. Take a few more deep breaths, allowing the feelings of forgiveness, gratitude, and the newfound message that you've uncovered to settle within you. You are stronger and more compassionate than you ever imagined. When you're ready, begin to deepen your breath. Then bring your awareness to your eyes and gently blink them open and return to the present moment. Carry the peace, gratitude, and wisdom of this experience with you as you navigate into your day ahead, knowing that you are worthy of love, happiness, and peace. You hold the key to your own healing and transformation. Be patient with yourself. And also feel free to reach out to me if you need support. Take a moment to write about your experience 
and how you can grow and evolve, evolve from this experience going forward. If you haven't finished your writing, I encourage you to come back to this. But right now I want to talk a little bit about how to make a habit stick because I really, really encourage you to keep going with gratitude. Writing down just three new things every single day is actually a really transformational practice. And I think we talked about that on day one. So if you didn't see that part, then go back and rewatch that replay. But here are a couple of tips for helping you make the habit work, make it stick. Start small and specific. That's why we're talking about just those three things every day. It's a pretty short and easy practice. It's not asking you to sit down and spend an hour with your journal. It's just small something doable if you choose to put the effort in. It's something that's easy to do and easy not to do. But if you pick to do it, then it will slowly carry you up into a new state, a new grateful and joyful version of yourself with time. The next tip is focus on consistency, not perfection. So life happens. If you miss a day, that doesn't mean that you should give up the whole thing. It's just try again tomorrow. It's not, by setting up a daily practice, it's not to make yourself feel bad if you miss it, it's to celebrate the days that you do it. And this gratitude practice is all about celebrating the good things that are happening in your life. So stay focused on the positivity or the lessons that are coming to you. Another tip is to pair new habits with existing ones. So if you already have a journaling practice, maybe just write those three things in the corner on the new page that you're starting. Or if you, after you've checked your phone for the first time in the day, make a habit of putting your gratitude, you know, chunking that together. Or maybe before, so that you're filled with goodness before whatever may be on there. Another tip is to track your progress. Sometimes it helps to see that you've been doing it for several days in a row. I actually have a planner and it just has blank spaces for each day. And I use this as my gratitude journal. I just write three things on the gratitude journal. So it's pretty clear if I have filled up a whole week, the page is full of my writing. And I really just make a list. It can be that simple. And it can be small things like today they had cashew milk. And I had to have almond milk last time today. I'm really grateful for the cashew milk. <laughs> Another one, reward, sorry, reward yourself. Positive reinforcement goes a long way. So celebrating your milestones with small rewards can really help. Like maybe treat yourself to a cup of tea after you successfully write your gratitudes down for a whole week. Or treat yourself to a coffee out after you do the whole month of gratitude or you know buy yourself a bouquet or whatever they fill you back up it doesn't have to be something that costs money just something that helps you feel more whole and complete and happy and feels like a little reward to celebrate the progress that you've made and on our other days this is the part where we talked about homework but for today I have a different next step for you. And if you're interested in having more support, more meditations, more journal prompts, more of me, then please book a free call with me. I would love to chat with you about my life coaching practice. I help women stop feeling lost so they can embrace their true selves and unique purpose. And gratitude is just one of the many transformative practices that I dive into with my clients. There's so much more that we can uncover together. One of so if you want to make this summer a summer of deep healing, 
Are you finally embraced yourself and your true purpose? Let's chat. Go ahead and book that free call with me. You'll go to innerrainbowhealing.com slash call. I'll also put that in the comments below. And oh yeah, prizes. Hello. So I looked back at the group to see who has been, you know, active and commenting and put those names in a hat and pull them out to see who I should randomly give these prizes to. And I want to congratulate Bar. You have won a copy of Balancing the Rainbow Within, your daily chakra journey guide. This is a book that I actually wrote myself and it has some chakra meditations, journal prompts, affirmations, activities, and a lot of pictures from my travel that relate to the color and theme of each chakra. So it's a fun little journal guide. So congratulations, Bar. And Isabel, you have won a free 30-minute coaching session with me. It's a one-off session so we can focus on anything that's going on in your life that you want to talk about now. So I will also tag you in the comments so that you can know that you're a winner. So if you weren't a winner, thank you anyway for participating and making it to this point in the challenge. I congratulate you and I hope that you continue on with your gratitude practice. And also I want to invite you later this summer, we're going to have a lower chakra balancing challenge. So day one, we'll talk about what the chakras are. And then day two, we'll go into the root chakra, sacral chakra, and then solar plexus chakra. And then day five, we'll bring it all together. So keep your eye out for that and hope to see you in the group. I'll be posting more things, of course, and I would love for you to chime in or I'll see you on a call if you're interested in more support or I'll see you for the Chakra Challenge later this summer. Have a beautiful, wonderful rest of your day. Enjoy your gratitude practice. And see you soon.